So, after posting my two French Bulldog videos, I've gotten a lot of questions about my French Bulldog Tortellino, and in this video, I'm going to answer 10 of the most commonly asked questions about French Bulldogs. So, if you love dogs or you love Frenchies, get ready because we're going to dive in right now. Before we get started, please make sure to like this video, it helps with the YouTube algorithm, and also subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this. Question number one, how big do French Bulldogs get? Well. This little guy weighs 33 pounds. He's 33 pounds of love. He's not really overweight. He could probably lose a pound or two, but he is, for his size and length, a pretty good weight. I've seen French Bulldogs as low as 14 pounds and as high as 45 pounds. It really just matters, you know, how much Bulldog is in them, how much other dog is in them, whether or not they were the runt. There's a lot of things that matter. Do they shed? Yes, a lot. I'm going to put him down here and you're going to see that my shirt is covered in fur. In fact, part of buying a French Bulldog, we had to buy a uh, robot vacuum cleaner because the, the vacuuming was just going to be too much. He sheds a lot. Um, you know, it's, it's not like longer hair dogs where... They get a lot of knots and balls and, you know, stuff that gets stuck in your vacuum cleaner. But there is a lot of it. It's very short. Um, so, yes, they do shed a lot. So, yes, they do shed a lot and regular bathing will help with that. But you are going to have to groom them and brush them regularly to help with the upkeep of the shedding. Short hair dogs, it's a myth that they don't shed. They absolutely shed all the time. Do they drool? Yeah, a little bit. Um, mostly when we go on long walks and he's been panting from his mouth a lot, he'll start to drool. Or if <laughs> we're giving him a little treat, maybe a little piece of chicken or something, it's incredible how much drool he can produce when he's very hungry for something. Uh, but in general, like, no, when they're just around the house relaxing or, you know, whatever, they don't really drool that much. Again, most of the drool comes from, you know, panting a lot, which I think most dogs drool when that happens. Uh, so, yeah, I would say pretty light on the drooling overall, but we do have a towel that we just kind of keep throughout the apartment uh, that we use to wipe his face because he does drool sometimes. Are they easy to train? Uh, yeah, they're pretty easy to train. French Bulldogs are actually a pretty intelligent breed for the most part. Uh, you would think that that big head is full of air. It is actually full of brain. Uh, you know, small dogs in general tend to be easier to train, and Tortellino was pretty easy to train with basic commands for sit, stay, down, etc. It's been a little bit more difficult with more consistent commands, so... One thing that I made sure that we did early on is that we trained him to not dive into his food bowl. As soon as we put it down, we gave him a command word to enable him to go eat. So his word is grub. And I don't want to say that too loudly because he'll run over to his food bowl. Um, yeah, French Bulldogs are very trainable. We probably could spend more time training him too. But yeah, they're very easy to train. Are they good with kids? Uh, Tortellino loves children. Every time we go for a walk and he sees a little kid, he reacts in a way that is just, oh my God, it's so cute. He's just like, oh, a little kid. He knows that these kids are full of playful energy and it gets him so excited. He runs over, he wants to, you know, play with them, get pet by them. Like he just, he, he loves it. Um, <laughs> they're, they're really great with kids and because they're small, Typically, they're not going to really, you know, knock over kids. I mean, they are heavy, so maybe they will. But they're, they're, not, they're not as much of a danger to kids as, say, larger breed dogs that might trample them. You do have to be careful because sometimes French Bulldogs are sensitive about certain areas. You know, like with all dogs, if they've been abused in the past or if they've had a certain part of their body hurt, they might be sensitive to it and they might snap or bite. Tortellino, for instance, he will let me massage his ears. I can put my fingers all the way in his ears, but... If I try to go near them with a uh, dropper, like for ear medication, because he gets ear infections every so often, he will try to bite me. And he has actually drawn blood from me from that before. Um, so again, it's just about knowing the limits of the dog. Um, in general, they are amazing with kids. And if you've raised the dog yourself without any bad habits from adopting, you're probably not going to have any problems. What's their energy level like? So French Bulldogs, for the most part, are fairly um, low to mid-level energy dogs. That isn't to say that you can just leave them at home all day in the apartment and they're going to be fine. They do require daily walking as well as some physical activity. Otherwise, they will get destructive. They'll start peeing in places that you don't want them to. Um, they'll be whiny, more needy. Tortellino gets uh, at least a half hour of walking every day. 
And I know that doesn't really seem like a lot, but for a dog with as short of legs as him, who, you know, has as hard a time regulating heat as him, a half hour walk really takes it out of him, especially in the hot weather we're having right now uh, here in Los Angeles. So at least he gets at least half an hour of walking every day. Every so often he decides he doesn't want to go for a walk. We'll start walking and he'll pull as soon as he's gone to the bathroom like, hey, guys, I'm, I'm good today. So maybe once a week this happens where he decides he doesn't want to go on a walk longer than five or ten minutes. And we just allow that for him. Now, he does always like to play. So typically we try to play with him. We'll do a little bit of fetch with like a little tennis ball, uh, like a rope. He likes to play tug of war. It's his favorite game. Uh, and so we'll do that with him five or ten minutes every day, just enough for him to work up a good pant and to go get some water. Uh, and then we know that we've, we've done our job to, to help him out, you know, get some of that physical stress out. But yeah, they definitely require play. They are on the lower energy side of dogs, but they are very playful and excitable, too. So they're not they're not sloths. Are they good for first time dog owners? No. Uh, you know, I grew up with dogs, but my parents really took care of them. Uh, Julia grew up with a few dogs, but again, her parents took care of them a lot, too. This is our, sort of our first dog dog ourselves that we've taken care of. Uh, and for me, uh, he is a very high maintenance dog. French Bulldogs are very high maintenance. I don't recommend them to first time dog owners. Um, there's a lot to know and there's a lot of conflicting information on the Internet. You can go online and find so much conflicting information about how to raise a Frenchie, their health issues, what to feed them. And the vets will tell you conflicting stuff, too. And people will tell you the vets don't know what they're talking about. It can be really, really stressful. Um you know, the part of why I'm making these videos is to help people understand from my experience what I've gone through and to hopefully help you make better decisions about your dog and your French bulldog if you have one. Um, but no, I don't think they're good for first time dog owners. They come with a lot of health issues. I have another video about the surgery I had for him for his his obstructive airway syndrome cost us another two thousand dollars. In some places, I've seen people pay upwards of five or six thousand dollars for. And that's on top of the dog already, which can cost upwards of four or five thousand dollars. They're very expensive. They are very high maintenance. They require, you know, constant attention. You can't let them get too hot. They're very easy to overheat. It's not an easy dog. And honestly, there are so many dogs that need to be adopted. You might as well go adopt one for a first time dog. If you get a mud or something, more than likely you're going to have less health issues, less complications. They're going to be a lot easier to take care of. Are they good guardians? Uh, I mean, look, they're a small dog, so they can't really do much damage. They can't really intimidate either. Now, I do know, though, Tortellino has a very strong instinct. If one of us is home and the other one isn't and the other one comes back and very quickly opens the door to come in without, you know, like slowly unlocking the door, slowly opening the door, he will run from the other room barking to try to guard us, you know, like to let us know that there's something there. He's very good with that. But if he's home by himself and we come back, he doesn't really, you know, get like that. If anything, he's maybe a little just more excited that we're home. So I wouldn't say they're they're good guardians per se. They're just that's not what they're there for. But in terms of like, you know, emotional comfort and everything else, they are very sweet dogs. So, yeah, emotional guardians. Sure. Um, but physical guardians. No. How are they with strangers? Well, like I said before, Tortellino has loved every single person that he has ever met. Um, and for the most part, I find Frenchies are pretty sweet breeds with strangers Occasionally, you'll find one that's been mistreated or has owners that are very paranoid of other people, and that transfers to the dog as well, and you'll find that they're not as nice. So again, there's always exceptions to the rule, but Frenchies in general, that bulldog breeds in general tend to be very affectionate. Pit bulls are very affectionate. Bulldogs are very affectionate. These dogs typically really crave physical you know, attention uh, and, and interactions with people and other dogs. They're very good with the strangers. Um, so in general, you don't really have to worry about taking them out into public. Take them with us, you know, when we go to restaurants and stuff sometimes. And the only real issue we have is sometimes he tries to, you know, get up to eat our food. But he's very sweet. He's very nice to everyone who comes by. He's really not a problem with strangers. What's it like to own a French Bulldog? I really love my French Bulldog. He is the sweetest, most kind, affectionate dog that I've ever had. Very sweet. He's also very playful and sometimes can get a little rough when playing. But it's all from love. There's not a mean bone in that dog's body. He loves every person and every dog that he has ever met. I just, I have never seen such a positive, upbeat dog when it comes to interacting with others. He is super loving, very sweet. I, I really love him, but the truth is, I dissuade most people from owning French Bulldogs because they come with a lot of health problems. And honestly, when you buy a French Bulldog, you're continuing to support breeders 
manipulating dogs genetics in ways that are really unhealthy for them and this is something i didn't know when i bought tortellino uh, which is that they're just very unhealthy dogs all right that's going to be it for this video again if you really enjoyed this content please leave a like for the youtube algorithm so i can know which videos to make more of subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment down below if you have more frenchy questions i can't believe how many questions i get on my existing Frenchie videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope you have a lovely day.